we in Pongola in the Amazulu Reserve. The summer rains have come and uh, presented us with the ideal conditions for these foam nest frogs to build their nests. We see the, the female here with the male uh, clinging onto her back and uh, the female is a lot larger than the male frog. There are a number of males around this female and they all take turns in fertilizing her eggs. Here we can see all the males as they froth up the foam and they churn the, the eggs into the foam. This process goes on all night. The female producing the foam and the male frogs frothing it up and uh, clinging on with their front legs and churning the foam up with their back legs. It's a long night and the frogs have only produced a fraction of the foam they need to produce. In the day the sun hardens the foam and turns it into a meringue-like substance. The foam insulates the eggs and keeps them at a certain temperature as well as protecting the eggs against predators. The female leaves the nest a few times in the night um, and goes back into the water to rehydrate and then returns to the nest and will partner with quite a few different frogs every night. After five days the tadpoles will hatch and they will work their way through the meringue-like substance to the bottom of the nest and they'll break through the crust and fall into the water where they will continue the next stage of their development. And it's amazing to see how the intelligence of nature ensures the survival of the species.